Hi there, welcome to MTC Studios production of Ten Zen. Ten Zen, helping you to have ease of mind, peace of mind around the new Windows 10 operating system that brings together the best of the old with new. Bringing it together into something just good. Nold. Better than pizza and a hot dog together. It's an old. It's an old. New and old. New and old. So, um, you know, in past episodes, if you haven't seen them, you ought to check them. We have shown things like the start menu, the action center, transitioning between desktop and tablet mode, um, the edge browser, customizing things for yourself. Today, we're going to get groove. Boom, boom. Yeah, man. Groove it. And uh, we're going to do that with Groove Music. So many of you are familiar with the Xbox music that's been a part of the Windows system for a while and Windows phones. But it's been updated and rebranded and has some new features and functions that I think you're going to love. And it's now called Groove, Groove music. music. So Groove Music surfaces itself. You can see it here on mine. It says, there's the, my little Groove Music uh, icon and did you notice that it's a G it's a G. a G oh that is a G yeah and actually you want to go full screen Steven so that looks like a G I I hadn't I did I hadn't picked I that up I thought it. of it just as a record but you saw the little that's a G why because your last name begins with a G a G so uh, looking at the G thank you for pointing that out I did not notice that so Groove Music is the new uh, music interface for Microsoft Music, and it does have some new features. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up my Groove Music. And here's my app. And you'll see as it goes and opens, it's going to surface and show me music. I see tiles that are here. Start signing in. It picked up Michael Giannotti. So there I am. I can view things by album, by artist, right? Ooh. My songs. Oh, and wait a minute, it's adding music. I wonder where that might be coming from. I think I know, and we're going to take a look. And we can also look at now playing. But we're going to go ahead, let's select here the album view. And again, it's adding your music. It's adding more songs. Wow. That's Lots lot of, of songs. songs. And the reason it does that, we'll come to that in a bit. It's adding them all because it's getting them from someplace. Someplace mysterious that we'll talk about in a moment. A magic land. Magic land. Look, it just keeps going. But what's a very lot. cool is, first of all, as we look at Groove Music, what I'd like to do is actually change how it looks and operates. We can do that very easily. Are we full screen, Stephen? Yeah. Okay. So coming here, you see my name. Next to it, we have the little gear icon for yep. settings. So I'm going to go ahead and select settings. And once in here, it has some options. <coughs> Get a Groove Music Pass. Me. Mm. With Groove Music, you can stream music, you know, unlimited streaming. You can redeem a code for that here. Uh, music on this PC, choose where to look for it. Maybe you have multiple drives or in a different folder. I like this one. Import iTunes playlist. So if you're ready to leave fruit behind, you're tired of all that roughage. It's too much fiber. What it does, for too any much person. fiber for anyone. Well, if you're ready to move on over to Groove and get groovy, you can import your playlist right here. Also, downloads. It has some different options. So, automatically download songs here after you buy them on other devices. So, let's say I bought something, I was on my phone yep. and I bought it. It'll automatically, if I turn that on, download it here locally. But I don't, I'm not going to do that. Media info. Automatically retrieve and update missing album art and metadata. On. On. Or you can turn it off. OneDrive. When I add a song to OneDrive, remove any version that came from Groove Music Pass. Do you know why it might want to do that? When I add a song to OneDrive, remove any version that so think well, about you this. already own the music you already have that. yeah yeah exactly that's right so with groove music pass you can stream you can also download and as long as you have act as long as you have the music pass yep. Yep. you can access and play that music yeah but it has Which digital rights managed it's unlimited music yes but it's digitally rights managed 
yep. which means if your music pass expires, you can't play the song anymore. Nope. So let's say I did buy it. Maybe I ripped a CD. Maybe I downloaded it online and purchased it. But when that music goes to my OneDrive in music, um, automatically it'll remove They'll remove it from the one, pass. yeah, that's that's so digital rights say, managed. Yep. So you'll it, still have it. On well, it'll it, no. It, uh, this one I want to remove any version. But you'll have it. You'll have a correct. Version. I it's have not like the it's version. It from your no, I have the d r correct. Yeah, that's what I wanted. To so say. then so. below that it says, "Ask me to sign in before completing purchases." This is just a double check. Maybe you leave your computer unattended, and you're worried about you know like my son here going crazy on my credit card, buying music, I can say verify, so I have to log in. You should be more worried about your daughter doing that. You should be more worried about my daughter doing that. This is true. It also has a reset, delete your playlist and any music you've added so that you can go from scratch. And then finally, background. You yeah. notice mine is dark. Actually, the default is I did notice that, because mine, mine is set to light, which I, I like better. So, yeah, and you can have it both ways. I like for music, I like to kind of differentiate. So I put it to dark. Well, wait, put it back to light. Now, if we were to click albums, look how much cleaner that looks. Look at it. It's, that's, it's that's, edgy. I think I'm going to yawn now. <sighs> yeah, I guess it's good for you and you're uh, clean. I'm going well, dark, it also baby. fits the, the theme of the hey. Microsoft Edge we were just talking about. That was... I right. like my browsing on the web with a clean look. I like my music dark Dirty and, and gritty. <laughs> oh, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. millennial boy. I like to All be right. in a dark room when so, I listen to music. <laughs> I like to sit in a dark room. That's right, with black lights on, on <laughs> with uh, posters on the wall that pick it up. So at any rate, here we are. So now I have my music, but I want to call your attention to something. All the music that we're seeing here, none of it's on my system locally. None Guess where it's all coming from? Uh, hmm. A magic place. A magic, it is a magic music. place. It's a magic place called OneDrive. A cloud. A magic cloud. A cloud. cloud. It's a, a magic cloud. I'm trying to think of a, a creative way to say that. It's a magic cloud. A so magic what cloud. I've done is, all my music is in OneDrive, and I'm going to actually show you how I got it there, which is, for families, is great. But yeah. all my music's here, and by being in OneDrive, come out of full screen, Stephen. By being in OneDrive, it shows, hold some of this stuff up. It shows well, on a, all this is on. my devices. Well, just hold something up, because it's my account. Just people will know. So here's my phone where I have my, oh, there's Groove Music on my Windows 10 phone. And as I open it, you can't see it here, but we're seeing an art, artist view. Maybe I want to go to a album view. And there it is, and it's starting off with, what's the story, Morning Glory? But seriously, same as here. 10 from 6 from Bad Company. Same content. It would be on here if he was logged in, but I don't trust him, so we're not going to log in. Because you never know what, what, what that young man will do. Um, but here's all my music. It's in OneDrive. It's in the cloud. And when I want to listen, all I got to do is click. So let's let's go ahead. We'll do a little Phil Collins, but seriously, folks. And I can say play, add to, explore artist, more. Do you have Karma Chameleon Pin to start. Oh, I, I do, but we're not doing it. Pin to start, delete, download. If you want it local, explore artist brings up this view. Ah, Phil Collins shows in my collection, those, look at that, all that stuff. And then if we come on back, bada boom, here it is. So I'm gonna, I could play individual songs or Studio. the whole thing. So I'm gonna go ahead, just click play. You can go full screen now, so I wanna show folks this. So starting to play on my little speakers here, but you can see we have the bar here with a pause shuffle repeat on right we can pause there we go play oh yeah we're jamming with phil so we'll come out of that come on out of full screen so i'm able to go in and play all this music and that's beautiful and again we can look at it a variety of ways so let's go full screen again i shouldn't have gotten out of there um 
we can look at it by albums, by artists, right? Yep. So here we see different artists coming up, and I've got a ton of them. Notice I have up here 469 artists, 876 albums. We can look at songs. 3,000. 35. No, oh, oh, it's, it's adding. Okay, now we're 11, at that. 11,000 songs. 11,172 songs, I'll have you know. Um, and again, we can do sorts and filters on that and shuffle. We also have now playing. And it's going to bring up the view we were just at, right? Once you clicked this. Hang it, uh, go down, click it. Click on that, then it brings me back oh, to the album. The yep. Album. And then finally, we can make a playlist where we'd have playlists available and or finally get music in the store. So I can click there, come to the music store, start searching all the music that moves you, try a Groove Pass free for 90 days, um, or you can search and purchase for music. Days. Yep. So you said 90, that's two months more. Did I say, did I multiply? <laughs> that was wishful thinking on my <laughs> part. So, but you can see here in this view, there's a lot of, lot of stuff. Yeah. Great way to get and interact with your music anywhere on any of your devices. Now I've had some folks ask, what if they have an iOS device or an Android? Well, we are updating the Xbox music and stuff. And on those devices, those platforms, you're gonna be able to, without an Xbox Live, you're gonna be able to go ahead and stream music from your OneDrive as well. That's awesome. But that's not, and you can come out of full screen. That is it gets good. better. It gets better, Sam. It gets much better. It can. So, oh, but it can. I'm gonna it's go possible. ahead and minimize, and I'm gonna open up, oh, I don't know. OneDrive. Edge. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know what that is. What happened? That was, this is live, folks. My internet connection dropped. There we go. Now we're back up. So here we are. We're on the internet. I'm going to go to my OneDrive. I just want to say I appreciate earlier uh, when you brought up Phil Collins that I said play Karma Chameleon. And you glossed over the fact that I said Karma Chameleon. And that's not a Phil Collins song. That's correct. It is not a Phil Collins song. And I don't know why. <laughs> You don't know why you I said was, Karma Chameleon? I think I was thinking Because of you're a millennial. You're an 80s wannabe. Susudio. That's okay. Susudio, yes, not Karma Chameleon. Susudio. Whoa, whoa. Um, that was free, by the way. You didn't have to pay for that. You're welcome. <laughs> so here we are. I'm in my OneDrive. OneDrive, we're going to go have more about this, but it's where I have all my files backed up. In fact, our home family computer has several terabytes of data that are, was on the computer. That one's large, and we've backed it all up to the net, all up to the cloud in OneDrive, including several our music. We had 71 gigabytes of music. Now, to get that music, I did not want to. You know, we have our family account, but then we have my account. There's your account, your sister's account, your mom's account. I don't want to go in copy all that to some drive, plug it into mine, then start uploading it all over again to the web. Yeah, that's a lot. I don't want to do that. I want to make it easy. We've made it easy with OneDrive to do so. So what I did was I went in and I clicked on my music folder, right? Like this, right? Oh, wow. Look yeah, so here, Even see our music, music folder? Notes. Yeah, you have music notes pictures. here. Yep. And so you can see we've got this folder here. We can go into it. We could select. We have you know different folders available. We can look at different views. Oops, I went out to my pictures. And again, we can select different stuff. But we're going to come back here. And one of the options you have is to select this. Music. See this little piece here? Yep. I can click on that, select it. Look at my options above. Is that new to OneDrive? Some of this is. They've been updating things and people haven't been aware. And one I of those is haven't. share, invite people to a selected document or folder. Folder. Music is the folder that was automatically set in our family's account when we uploaded all the music. So we have this music folder. And that means from my family based machines, I can play from OneDrive. But I shared the music folder to michaelgenati at live.com. 
are up, my family account tied to my base family one. My account tied to my family account. Just mm -hmm. like you have one, Sam Gennady at live.com, your sister has one, your mom has one. And when I shared it, am I full screen? Yep. Okay, good, I forgot to ask. When I shared it, it appeared under shared as this. Here's, there it is. Oh. Music, right? So I then went in here and opened the music folder. And then I selected all the different ones that I wa might want, right? Clicked on it and then selected copy to. So I selected all the ones I wanted, selected copy to, and then I get a little drop down. It gave me a drop down option where I selected, you'll never guess, my music folder. No. Yes, and then look at what I got here in my music folder. All that music that now shows up as grooves. As groove music, so now it's showing up. So if you have, you can come on back. If you're somebody using Windows 10, you've got the new Groove Music, and you've got a family, you got, a, you know, we have tons of CDs that were all ripped, and we have digital music we've purchased over the years. Combination of it all on a, it's actually on an external drive attached to our family computer. 71 gigs of just music. All that we uploaded and backed up everything, all of our files, our music, our family pictures, videos, documents, it's all backed up into one drive in the cloud. Mm -hmm. Within sh you can then share to your other family members just via that attached email address. It'll show up under their shared and then they can pick and choose the songs, the artists or particular albums of an artist that they want and say copy to, elect it in their music, and bam. Bam. It's It'll fine. then show up here, and then you saw it even synchronize in newer music that had just finished copying over. So it's a great way to get all your music, stream it anywhere, anytime, any place, via any of your devices, even coming to iOS and Android. But today on my Windows phone, my tablets, my PC here, Big, could be a big honking one. All of them have access via my Windows Live account through Groove Music, the ability to stream that music where I'm at. Huh. Pretty cool. Yeah. So that's Groove Music. It is groovy. It's cool. I like the dark theme. He likes the light theme. We all like our I'm different right. themes. He's wrong. And he's, <laughs> he's young and dumb. I'm old and wise. But that's it for this edition of 10 Om Zen. And I think it's only appropriate since we were in Groove Music and since our last name is Gennady, that we end with a little Paisana music with a little, since we're talking about peace of mind, peace, pace, pace, huh, in Italian, that we have a little un attimo di pace, an attitude of peace that's that we get from Windows 10. You me. like that, huh? You didn't know your old man knew that. No, you probably... Somebody told me that. Probably Bing translated. I Bing translated. Right? Yeah. So a little Eros Ramazzotti, a little Un Atimo di Pace. And with that, it's Michael Gennati with... Sam Gennati. But you have a great day. Keep Un, animo, un Atimo di Pace with Windows... Tens and have a great day. Take care and as always, ciao.